We're forever being told of the benefits of eating fish, and these days there's no shortage of options, whether it be tinned, frozen or fresh from the ocean. So with so many options on the shelves, which fish is best? Jenny Price is health conscious but time poor, so tinned and frozen fish are often on the menu. I live a fairly transient lifestyle. I work long hours and um, like to include fish as part of my diet at work, so um, canned fish kind of fits in nicely there. But Jenny's confused about which form holds the highest nutritional value. Yes, that's what I want, some really con concrete information that tells me um, if the nutritional benef benefits um, of canned or frozen fish is as equal to the fresh fish. Well, dietitian Julie Gilbert has some good news. Tinned fish can be a healthy option. Besides being really convenient in the cupboard, they're also very low in fat mm -hmm. and they're also a great source of omega-3. But be careful not to choose the tuna packed in oil or brine, which dramatically increase the kilojoule value. Make sure it's packed in spring water and have a look at some of the flavours that are used as well. So things that are done in herbs and spices are a great choice. Over to the freezer and Julie says the frozen fillets are high in convenience and low in saturated fat, but... If you're a person who's trying to lower your cholesterol, yeah. you'll actually find that they are quite low in omega-3. Um, and that's because they're a white fish, they're not an oily fish and that's the difference. According to Julie, the worst frozen offenders are the battered varieties and fish fingers. Now for the highest nutritional value, Julie says fresh is best. So if you can grill it, add herbs and spices, even adding lemon juice or lime juice to it, you've actually got a fantastic product to enjoy, which is great for your health. But what about cost? So this stuff is basically straight out of the sea and then here to the market. As quick as we can get it here, yeah. yeah. Well, at the markets, we found prices starting from $13.95 a kilo for mullet. Top of the range tuna is around $50 a kilo, and there's plenty in between. Buying fresh fish can be seen to be more expensive, but you can make it go a long way with just a bit of creativity. Budget expert Michelle House recommends getting the most out of your fish with a Mornay or patties. These patties have been made with 300 grams of salmon and we've turned up nine patties, which is um, just over a dollar a serve. Now to the supermarket to crunch the numbers on fresh versus frozen. OK, Michelle, so you're armed and ready? Ready to go. All right, off you go. Thanks. All the best. Michelle's comparing bird's eye Atlantic salmon from the freezer with fresh Atlantic salmon from the deli. Here are the results. The fresh salmon sells for $34.98 a kilo. The frozen variety equates to over $40 a kilo. And looking at a cheaper fillet, we compared INJ flame grilled white fillets with perch Nile from the deli. The perch Nile sells for just under $15 a kilo. The frozen fillets, over $17 a kilo. So when it comes to nutrition and price, it seems fresh really is best. Yeah, sometimes it's worthwhile shopping around and doing the numbers. It's worth putting the effort in. You will be better off from a health point of view and also from a financial point of view as well.